Freezing. All right, guys, let's do this. Freezing. Freezing. Let's head over to the other one. Hell, I, I'm the one that don't even have a glove on. Oh, fuck. You just got to talk to it. Trevor, you can get in that door. You just got to talk to it. <laughs> he started talking shit to it and didn't want to work anymore. I mean, I guess we can tonight, but I don't know for how long, dude. It says it's 58 degrees in the car, in my pocket. <laughs> you, like, you like cheese popcorn? What's your favorite popcorn, Steve? Keep recording. Um, have, <coughs> have you ever had that popcorn? No. I mean that's for kids. <laughs> what about white cheddar? <laughs> uh, white cheddar, um, a little bit more grown up, but I, I ate salt and vinegar. Oh yeah, because you're a fucking hearty sailor. <laughs> salt and vinegar popcorn? Yeah, that's what I eat. <laughs> Do you mean potato chips? I, uh, anything. Salt and vinegar. Red salt and vinegar. I don't like vinegar. I just drink it. No. no, the best popcorn is the, uh, like, Cracker Jack fruit popcorn. Dude, yeah. that's for, that's for, like, 1930 Great Depression kids. What? Even though the Great Depression they, wasn't they, in the They 1930s. used to give you, like, what, stamps or something? In there? Yeah, food stamps, because it was the fucking <laughs> Great Depression. <laughs> They'd give you a mail Oh, man, stamp. you got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can mail a letter to someone who cares. What do you mean, you guys? You don't have to blur this out. I hope we don't offend, offend too many Great Depression people. I bought Cracker Jacks and pulled out the food stamps. My bad. <laughs> food stamps in the Cracker Jack. It was kind of broken, though, just because, like, the amount of food stamps you got was the same price as the box of Cracker Jacks. So it kind of evened out, which was weird. I don't know how they were making a profit. They needed to put those fake tattoos in there. It probably had something to do with Dwight D. Eisenhower, in my opinion. Dwight? Yeah. Okay, who's your favorite basketball player, Trevor? Favorite basketball player? Larry Bird. Larry Bird? Yeah. Of course it's a white guy. Dude. Where, where are you driving? <laughs> <laughs> Don't text and drive. <laughs> well, look up the cemetery there. Um. Oh shit. Okay, on your phone, sure. <clears throat> Let me see your phone. Oh, oh, now you want my phone, huh? Well, I had to get my glove off and stuff so I can actually work the phone. What's the name of it? Uh, what town did I say it was in? I don't know. It's just south of here. It's north of Milford. Milford Cemetery? Is that the name of it? Uh oh. What's your favorite it's soccer north player? It's North of Milford. Steve Milford. What's your favorite soccer player? Nelson Mandela. Why are we talking about freaking? Yeah, but he was big into soccer. You ever see that movie about him? Yeah, so? Master, I am the master. Of your ship? Yeah. Not, not your soccer team, your ship? Remember, is it uh, I don't freaking dude, I don't know. Well, are you talking about like a crossfade? Like, no, you ever got your ankles broken? That's another solid question. Yeah, 
Yeah. While you were on the court? Okay, I got a few of them right in front of here. Okay, we just left White Lake. Highland Cemetery? Is that the name of it? Yeah. There's two cemeteries right next to each other right there. What's the other one? Um, I mean, go into the geography mode and check, make sure. Oh, it's a pet cemetery right now. Whoops. That's not... Uh, Maybe we'll catch some more goats. Jesus, man. Okay. I feel like I would have just been better off next No, it's not a pet cemetery. It's a... Uh... I think it's Highland Cemetery that we were at. I think you're right. Then there's one like pretty much across the street from it, which I don't know how we missed it. I don't fully remember the way there, but I know we passed this place on the way there. Alrighty, now that we got that all figured out, taken care of. Yep, so, uh, what's your favorite thing about Alabama? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> That's how you're going to do our Alabamese and viewers? <laughs> <laughs> yep. What about, isn't there a college called Alma, Alma State down in Alabama? Omaha. It's not Omaha Beach. Omaha. It's a different Nebraska. place. I've never been there. What's, uh, what's special about it, Trevor? Who'd you meet? Who do I mean? No, who did you meet? Um, no one in particular, just like people like the stores and stuff. Get anybody's name? Most people in stores are nice because they want you to come back and buy their shit. That's in America. That's in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just because we don't give a shit up here. We're like, you, you, yeah, fuck you. We don't have that tonight. Like, Come back. Got another customer right behind you. Get your shit and get out. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what was your favorite store out in Omaha? For our viewers who don't know too much about Michigan, this is how we work up here. You come here on vacation and you will leave on probation. Trust me. <laughs> At least in Oakland County. Yeah. Especially in Oakland. Local county, if you're having fun, they'll come to your house and put you on probation. Yeah, they'll put, <laughs> they'll put you on probation in the summer sun. <laughs> if you're smiling too much in Michigan, somebody's going to walk up to you and tell you to piss in a cup. They're, they're going to put you in handcuffs. <laughs> and if you try to resist the handcuffs, uh, we'll put you in fuzzy handcuffs. You don't want that. Plus, You don't know nothing about fuzzy handcuffs, man? Come on, What's Trevor. wrong with you, boy? You've never had any experience with some fuzzy handcuffs? No, no fuzzy handcuffs for me. They're going to put you in a padded room. You, you, nice usually you put the girl in the fuzzy handcuffs. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Trevor's like, no fuzzy handcuffs for me. I mean, you can put Trevor in fuzzy handcuffs. I'm not getting tied up to no women. <laughs> I don't trust women today. Yeah, all those cemeteries. <laughs> You'll be stuck to that bedpost. You probably won't even do nothing. You'll just let. You'll be stuck to that bedpost till your cellmate comes back. <laughs> I saw you in the shower, boy. Well, this is Michigan. That <laughs> that is likely to happen. Is that is that what Michigan is known for? Probation, Probation and prison. Probation. Fuzzy hand. Great Lakes. Probation. Uh, snow. We should be part of the probation. tourism department in Michigan. <laughs> uh, probation, uh, high car insurance. It's pure yeah, Michigan, medical. we're making. Um, potholes, we're known for potholes. Potholes. Even our paved roads have potholes. Even they, our potholes have fucking potholes. And then they wonder why, like, 
Why are you guys so unhappy? Because every time I get a smile, it gets knocked down by a pothole when my suspension gets messed up. Yeah. They say to replace your struts every four years. Around here, you probably got to do it every three months, depending on what part you're in. We spent a freaking fortune on taxes to have decent roads, and... We got Kwame. <laughs> we, we get shit. We get Kwame. Kwame, who's that? You never heard of Kwame? The guy that was embezzling... Racketeering. Yeah. Yeah. Stole all the freaking taxpayers' money and everything. Kwame killed Patrick. And then they elect another one. Yeah, him. <laughs> me? No. They should elect me. I'd do, I'd do this state you. right. Never elect First you. thing I... There you go. Steve here is running for... Mayor. Mayor Listen, of Holly, Michigan. I'm not running, but if you put my name on the ballot and I win, I'm not saying no. First thing I'm doing, fixing the potholes. Second thing I'm doing, it's illegal to piss in a cup. <laughs> Make it illegal to piss in a cup, that's great. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's now against the law to force somebody to do a drug test. Yeah, exactly. Well, no. You can still have them do a drug test, you just can't piss in a cup. No, so I the people. It before. And the person. <laughs> no, and the only back. person that can drug test you since you can't piss in a cup is the police officer himself, so he has to hold the drug test over the toilet as you piss on the drug test and probably get some on his hand and like his upper forearm. Be like, you want to drug test me? Cup your hands and hold them out. Let me fill it up for you. How about uh, police officers have to do drug tests? And how about politicians have to do drug tests? Have, you know, the the truck drivers got to do drug tests. No, you can't have have politicians do drug tests. Why? why? They'd all fail. (laughs) Well, no, that's why we got to do it. Well, not just that, but that would put a lot of the people that I know out of business. Oh, they ain't no good anyway. Get them out of there. Get them out. Get them out. But I'm just saying, like, truck drivers got to do drug tests. The people that work at GM got to do random drug tests. Or in all these places, post office, all other government, you know, employees got to do drug tests, random drug tests, whatever. Um, Police officers and politicians should be on that that list too, and they're not, so. We ought to drug test the president. Yeah, he's saying some goofy stuff. Honestly, I don't think Donald's on drugs. <laughs> Donald McDonald, what's his name? Donald, Donald Trump. Ronald McDonald. Ronald, Ronald McDonald. Um, Remus. Orange face. We take donations. <laughs> orange face. That's what I'm gonna call him. Man, why are you why are you hating on Donald Trump? I'm not hating on him. I like the guy. I just never understand what he's talking about. Hey, what's he talking about? Like some business deal? And he'll be like, I, I just don't. I'm like, what is he saying? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you're fair when he does talk about some business deals. He he'll kind of like, get sidetracked, and then he's like, America is great. <laughs> I support America. <laughs> he'll be like. Uh, I'm, I'm the best. I went to the best. I and then everybody schools. in the crowd just goes wild, and then you got the people that were actually paying attention, and they're like, so uh, you want to carry on with that? Because I wanted to see where that was leading. Yeah. Which it usually doesn't get carried on, but hey. You know what? Again, I don't... I'm, he did a lot better than I thought he did. I had very low standards, and he very, very much exceeded them. I'm not saying he's the best president we've ever had, but I'm saying he did a lot better than I expected. I was I was surprised he got elected. Hmm. I mean, I kind of was too, but it was like I knew he on. would after he. It was him and Clinton going. Yeah, it was I Hillary. Knew, I knew he was Hillary. Because I was like, there's no way Hillary Clinton's winning this. You know, there's there's no way. She's too. I mean, she just had hmm. a bad track record. Yeah. I don't think this isn't the same cemetery. Is it not? No. Yes, it is. This looks very similar. Yeah, it is, because we saw the guy walking over here, over by this. And it goes all the way back, and then there's a light pole back there, which I can kind of see through the tree. All right, well. I don't know if this place is abandoned, though. What, this place? It looks abandoned. Go, go up out the door. It's a bank. If it's not abandoned, the cops will be here in a few seconds. It you might be closed. Dude, that door right there on the side is open. I don't know if that counts as the front entrance though, but it's open. Oh. Also, if it's not abandoned, why is there all these fucking barrels around it? Mm-hmm. 
also hey, where Used to be a bank. I don't know what it is now. If it's a band X, there's no ATMs, like nothing here. That's what I'm saying. Like, look inside. And the sign up front says Paint World. Paint World. Yeah, that's how it used to be a bank. They turned it into a paint store. <clears throat> they turned it into a paint world. Paint. I don't know what the hell paint world is. Paint, paint dog. Like paintball guns. I don't think they're having paintball fights inside of this game tonight. Yes, they are. Okay, well, if you're not going, buddy. <sighs> ridiculous. Uh, okay, I got a serious one question. Entrance. If you were a superhero, right, one. Scott, who would you be? Uh, if I was a superhero, who would I be? Yeah. Um, what kind of superhero? I don't know. Um, yeah, that's a very serious question. This right? isn't the same one. I told you this isn't the same cemetery. Yeah, there wasn't a shed. Uh, the other one was here. This one was creepy. I mean, this is a completely different cemetery than what we went to. Well, this is definitely one we could do. I mean, we're here. There's no gate. We got in. There's some old stuff here, so I mean, eh. There's a shed. It's a random shed. They always have a random shed. Not always, but... See how far back this goes. This one's got garbage cans and everything. Good, we can throw some of this garbage out. We got a coffee mug. There's water available. You want this, Steve? We'll throw this out. You can, yeah, throw away my trash bag. Let's do it. Yeah, right. I got you. Da, 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 da. Um, is that all, all I can throw away? What's on that tree? Oh, that's snow. Right. Look at the you way the snow is on there. these trees. That's weird. Well, you passed the garbage can. Look how big this place is. It's all the way at the end here. Oh, no. Dude, this place is freaking massive. It doesn't look that big from the road. It looks like a small cemetery. You come well, it's here. not really wide. It's just long. It's like a mile. I don't think this is quite a mile, but I mean, I'm going that headstone. Five miles an hour. So if I keep doing this for about 20 minutes, it's a mile. If that math checks out. If you're on five miles per hour. That's okay, not miles. 20 minutes. 10 minutes. It's more like 13 point something, but crazy. If you're going, if you're going 80 miles per hour, no, this is how long would it take you? This is the same cemetery. No, it's not. Then why is there this at the top of the hill? Which is the same thing we saw before, even though these, I don't, I'm lost. Five this is not the same cemetery. Hour, Steve, is one hour. I guarantee you this is not the same cemetery. Five miles, okay, you listen, okay, well, <laughs> forget about what Scott said, we gotta talk about math. Where are you going? Hey, that is math. No, we're not done. Get back in the car, I gotta tell you something. What do you got on this? Alright, so, are gonna be this crazy. I'm going five miles per hour, right? And he said it's about a mile long. I said if we go five miles an hour for about 20 minutes, which my math was wrong until I corrected myself to 13 point something minutes, that means we would have went one mile in 13 minutes, right? Sure. It's one fifth of 60. Sure. What's one fifth of 60? About 13. 13. Yeah, about that. Okay, maybe 12 technically if you don't want to go over, but we don't need the exact number. I was close and I was right because I'm better at math than both. No. What it comes down to. Way off. He's just talking a bunch of shit now. No, I'm not talking a bunch of shit. I had my shit right. Okay, if, if you're going 80 miles per hour, how long will it take you to go 80, 80 miles? An hour. I didn't say it was five miles long. Then we'd be driving in this for an hour. I'm telling you, this is not the same cemetery that we were in. I just find, no, it's not. But I find it weird how there's that same building up there. Doesn't it look like the exact same building up there? No, this cemetery's got... How did you pass so far from a garbage can? Oh my god. You're <laughs> in garbage cans, man. Alright, um... Yeah. Fuck, man. I don't know. It's cold. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're all thinking the same thing. Like, damn, it's cold outside. How cold is it? 
confirm my armor right. It's 26, my car says, so it's probably about 22. Minus the wind damage? chill. What do you mean that ain't nothing? At the end of the last video, you said the only thing at the end of the outro is chilly. That was it. Freezing. Freezing, <laughs> yeah, my bad. Freezing, it's freezing. And you're saying it's not cold, but the only thing you said at the outro was freezing? That's all I could I could come up with <laughs> at the time. I was not I was not thinking about anything else, but it was cold. Oh really? Oh yeah. shit! All right. And now um, I've been I've been in here and I've warmed up. I got to throw away this garbage. I'm excited. I'm pumped up. My fuel is getting better. I guess. I ate, a, I ate some popcorn. I say once we get out of the vehicle, we do the intro. What's the name of this? Milford Cemetery. Oh, yeah. You, you, uh, You're the one who looked up Highlands. Yeah, Highland Cemetery. I think Milford Cemetery was the one we were actually at. The Milford Cemetery is currently still fine. I don't remember which one we were at. But okay, either way. We're at somewhere. There's another one, like, literally on the other side of the road, just up the street, too. Oh, that's where we went. We were down here, right? Yeah, we're probably we at... We stopped here at that one down there. Yeah, we were probably at the one that was just down the road. Yep. I bet you that's the one we were at, but we're at this one. So when we get out, we're under the intro. Let's head down this way towards the woods over there because I got to take a piss. <laughs> There's a guy walking over there. Where? In that parking lot. This is like six miles long. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Look at this. Get out of here. With that I don't place. see no guy over there. How far are you from? He already walked past the. Uh, I can't even see the end of it. I can't even see the end of it. We're, we're, we're in, in new part. Alright, you guys ready for this? Well, I want to know the exact length of this cemetery. 1.9 miles. Are you willing to put money on that? No. <laughs> it's probably not a mile. But might be close, though. 0.2 miles. That ain't nothing. Point two miles. It's a two minute walk from here to the beginning. I doubt that. You get out that car. We'll time you. You walk. <laughs> <laughs> you get out that car and we'll time you. You walk there. <laughs> Google got it wrong. <coughs> that Google map is lying to you. Google ain't never wrong, bitch. Yeah, to be you're fair. Running. I think the people there. at Google is a little more fit, so maybe they can walk it in that time, <laughs> yeah. but... Mm. Light jog or speed walk. Alright, let's get out of here.